Alrighty, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the video and in this video we're going to be talking about zone positioning. So I'm not going to do this for every POI, but next season I will be doing this. So the POI analysis are going to be like 45 minutes long, maybe even an hour, depending on how crazy I want to go. And I want to make them as in-depth as possible, but this is just kind of a rough idea. Let's say we have a zone like this. Very first thing, you should figure out where do you land and how does this zone actually affect your looting process. So let's say you land somewhere far. So this would be any of the splits. Like I'm not going to count command cavern because they have the... Uh, let's turn on the siege cannons if you land anywhere with the siege cannons you can still shoot yourself so it doesn't really matter in terms of rotates but if you land like the mansion split log jam over here in the gas station split camp cuddle um greasy's fine uh north sleepy even sleepy a little bit and then the splits back here it, mm, shifty's kind of okay the rotates are going to be a little rough especially this spot over here and log jam and the mansion in this spot over here so you have a few options first off you rotate to this cannon and shoot yourself to i don't know maybe the fortress cannon and then you shoot yourself again to zone or you would loot up really fast like let's say these cannons aren't here and they're just not on the map and that's it and you have to run you'd have to have a loot path so either it's your same one or a different one for when zones are far so it's important that you get you know five by five or at least 553 554 you don't need cap metal it's nice to have it but if your team is good for refreshes end game you don't need to force you know spend time at your spot just to make sure you get 100 extra metal if you guys can get the refreshes in the end game so let's just say for this example we're up here and they have no rotates there's no rifts there's no cannons they have to find a way so they either have to have already have a pre-developed loot path loot this poi or this split extremely fast and get you know fucking march into zone because if you wrote it rotate in late in late then you're gonna get held by everybody that's in already in zone over here so if you land somewhere far away and zone's a journey so either a i'm just repeating it again have a loot path where you just loot everything super fast and, and haul ass or b have a plan to use some of the rotates on the map siege cannons boats uh any of the launch pads here because there's no cars anymore so you have to use some of the rotates on the map and get going to zone now, if you're somebody that's already in zone, you have two options. Either A, you sit in a very, very powerful position. So an example of this would be the Rocky Billboard, any of the Tilted Hills over here, Tommy Gas Station, these hills by Sanctuary, um, uh, the rocks over here around Rocky, something where you're naturally elevated and you can build up a few. So let's say you build up three to four layers up in the air. You can have one of your teammates refarm it, and the guy with the AUG is up top looking for surge tags. You do that, you base up, and you're fucking just tagging kids. The commie split or the commie gas station perfect for that. In this example, for this zone, is that you just base up here. One person goes up, the other one refarms all the materials he spent to go up, and this guy just looks for surge and all the teams that have to rotate. And the reason for going up is so that any of the trees that are there don't block you. Now, in previous patches, you could throw a firefly and burn down all the trees and have just a nice clear line of sight over it, but now you can't, so you have to go up. And that goes a lot with like the sanctuary hills over here. Like if you want to see over these trees and have actually sights on people who are rotating through, you have to go up and actually play higher and shoot at all the teams that are rotating in. So you land in the middle, either A, you know, yoink one of these power positions really early, or B, if you already have surge, you can kind of play kind of greedy, I want to say, with your positioning and already base up in the middle of zone somewhere in hopes of getting the second zone. Now, if you're coming in from far, you really have to tag up some people. And if you're EOI is kind of on the edge of zone. So the first thing we have to do is kind of figure out what's hot side and dead side. So if we just look at the map, how you would really figure that out is, you know, where does most of the teams have to rotate in from? And it's something like this. Most of them are coming from here and they're going to be entered like that. So it makes sense that hot side's probably going to be something like this. Now, this spot is usually not that hot just because you do have to swim through or use your boat or whatever. And that's where you can get tagged a lot. So usually the only teams that are here are the Sanctuary Joneses, uh, the, this split here, this split, or the people that already landed there. Usually this spot is kind of like you avoid that. So this would be the hot side here, just this spot all the way over here. And what you would want to do if you're one of these edge teams, is somewhere around here, even the commie split can do this, Sanctuary Bugle, like any team on this side can do this. And really what, you, what you'd want to do is actually base up somewhere on edge. This is if you, you're not contested and you have no surge. This is zero surge. You want to base up somewhere on edge. So examples of that are like these hills, um, this hill is really good. The gas station, these hills, you can refarm this. Uh, if you wanted to, you can go over here, grab billboard. But one of these hills like this, and there's obviously more. I can zoom out for a second. Um, you could do these. Oh, that is not what I wanted. You could do right here, any of these hills, even Coney. And even on Bugle, you could sit right here on one of the edges. And what that does 
is that you just sit there for a bit. So let's say you're early on, you loot all bugle, you're unconned, and you just sit right here. Now you're not going to stay there all game, and you're not going to stay there until zone closed. You're going to sit there and tag the teams that have to rotate like this. All the teams that are going to be rotating this way, you tag them, you just get 50 to 100 surge, and then you move on. Then you go deeper in. Next, you base up on here. Now you're tagging those teams again who are at Coney. You're tagging them up a bit, but now you can also tag any teams over here. You get 50 to 100 more surge. Let's say you're at 150. Now you can greet out a bit more and go way more deeper in because you already have 150 surge, and you can still tag all those teams that still have to rotate in because all of them are going to be trekking along. They're going to be healing up, and you're going to be ahead of them because you've been tagging them. That's an option. You can sit on the edge of zone, one of these power positions, somewhere on the edge of zone, probably stay on hot side, so somewhere around here. Get get like 50 to 100 tags, and then keep going in. Keep just stopping, stopping, and going, staggering. I think it's, um, you can use that word, it's like surge staggering. I don't know if that's actually the word or whatever. Now, if you do have surge, you just base up somewhere kind of like a good position. Now, let's say second zone. I'm going to probably butcher the size of second zone. Let's say it pulls deeper towards here. Um, that looks like it. That looks like it. So here is second zone. Now, let's say you had decided to actually just stay here. You get all of your surge. So let's say you have 300 to 500 surge. But this is the next zone. And you have to rotate this entire way. Sure, you're set on surge. You have the surge. And this would be a... Oh, my camera's pop rock blocking that. Um, I'll just write it somewhere else. Make my camera small. There you go. All right, let's say you have 300 to 500 surge. And, you, and you're right here. The downside is you have to rotate this whole distance. And while you're doing that, the team that got 50 surge, you know, here then rotated it into here and got 50 more or 100 more and then rotated it into farther and it's based up here is going to hold you the whole way or that's based up here wherever they are they're going to shoot and hold you the whole way you already have your surge so you're you're good you can just focus on rotating which this is an option if your team is good at this and good at you know rotating your way in and rattling around and getting in that is an option but you could either a stagger or b sit edge get all of your surge and this way you do create a nice little funnel so Let's think about this for a second if you do decide to actually stay on the bugle mountain right here for this zone you're right here you're boxed up right here and but originally you were right here so that's your two positions right now let me zoom out just a bit so i can actually see the whole zone so you were here you were here and now you're here so what that actually did is that it created this like funnel if you think about it no one's gonna want to hug you guys or go directly at you guys to rotate because you're just gonna tag them to shit. So they're going to try to break line of sight. They're going to try to use either some of the mountains down here or somewhere to rotate. And if they're coming from over here, they could just loop around like that. So they're going to be entering somewhere here, somewhere over here if they have the option to loop. So this is Sleepy, North Sleepy, uh, the, this split up here, and the Sunny Steps Vault split in that. So the few teams could rotate like that. Now the, uh, I don't know what this split's called. I think it's called the Jerian split. Whatever that's the split here is called. Um, that team will probably more than likely go like this or rotate inwards toward Coney. You know, the Shifty Shafts team, the Sleepy team. Any of these teams might do something like this where they come in through here and you tag them. But you force them at least a certain distance away from you. They're not going to want to hug this spot here. They're going to want to kind of be like, okay, I can build a little bit. I don't have to fully tarp. And then this way you do kind of create this like perimeter around you it would be cut off because the bugle because any team can go up here but you do create this little perimeter where you're just tagging anybody that tries to rotate through now if you were smart enough you would actually have created a fake base here if you had the option to maybe a brick base that goes like one to two tiles up and then like another one to the side like an l shape something like that and you just sit there and you and now you have created this like almost funnel so when you do decide to actually rotate to second zone First off, all the teams that are on your sides are already beat to shit because you've been tagging them the whole time. And the majority of your path to zone should already be free. Now this, in this case, actually Sid and Bugle isn't that bad of an option because you have plenty of places here to break line of sight. You can actually go here, loop around, use Sanctuary to get into the zone, or loop around the other way, or even go something like this and actually break line of sight. Now, if you sat Collider and your option was to go like this, that would be a lot more scary because now we have all these teams that sat here already based up. So I guess you could technically, and it is a good play to sit on the edge of zone to get your surge if you have the option to easily rotate on the dead side, or you can use the terrain to actually make rotate a lot more smoother so you don't have to burn all your mats. Now let's say you're here. 
and you know where are people going to be based up this is important to know because this, this means like where do you have to avoid where are the places that are going to be scary so first off commies there's always always someone in the gas station someone on the billboard these rocks are fucking terrifying i would avoid these at all cost you might even have a team on the edge here and then the sanctuary hills as well which kind of loops like this that's kind of like the scary spots at least on hot side now there's obviously plenty of other spots like over here we have the chonker hill chonker mountains somewhere here like there's plenty of spots around where people could possibly be sitting but i would avoid here because there is a lot of higher elevated places where teams can base up and get surge on you while you're running across now if you are on this side you hopefully like if you're on hot side and you're 100 going to be over here hopefully you had enough forward thinking to think okay i shouldn't sit on the edge here i should get in and have one of these positions so when second zone pulls i'm already in a good spot and i can be the team that holds other teams now, if you were the bugle team from earlier, you ratted your way. You can probably all get all the way up to here. Probably have to build a bit to block off any teams that are here. But now you have the option of kind of picking where you want to go, somewhere around here. Or even if you think you can make it, you can try to play in one of these rock hills if you're uh, fast enough or whatever. So what I've really covered, I know I'm kind of might be overlapping here, but I'm just trying to nail this down. If you are on the hot side of zone, so any of these teams over here, then it is better to rotate deeper into zone, first zone. That way for second zone, you don't get held by all the teams that are already there. Now, if you're in the edge and you're closer to dead side, but you might also be on hot side, it is better to sit edge if your next rotate is going to be good. So not only are you positioned for surge in your, in your games, you're also positioned for the next rotate. This is where like cars kind of had the bail out you could just sit on the edge of here and get so much surge on people or even sit bugle like if this was zone first zone you could sit here get tags on everybody and then just card to zone and you just bailed out because you don't actually have to worry about the next rotate because you have the car to bail you out so for this zone here we know that you know third zone is going to be somewhere along here maybe it pulls like this it's going to be just random then fourth zone and smaller than half and all that stuff so when you're positioning um i like to think you know if you have surge middle or we already talked about that but this zone here hopefully by this time you already have some surge because it should be popping soon so you should already have surge so you don't need to really position too heavily for that unless you don't and then you'll have to find a spot here where you can get surge on people if you're on the hot side you might have to fight a team or if you're on edge side you might also have to fight a team so let's say this is next zone and you're positioning let's say that you're the bugle team you could kind of rat your way in and let's just say for this sake you're sitting like right here and uh right now we don't know what third zone is going to be but you're like right here and that's a good spot like you're like you're completely chilling there and then when next zone pulls you have the free rotate like there's not too many places where people are going to be based up around here like they're most of them are going to be based up on this side because that's where the most of the natural elevation is over here so you do kind of have a freer rotate and you have a lot of materials along the way to farm up to get more into center or to stay here and get tags on all the teams that have to rotate in again so let's say zone pulls again it gets, it gets even smaller let's just make this what green <clears throat> so zone pulls again let's say it's something like uh like this this is now zone or something third zone and this is all probably very rough and uh not very good accurate uh sizes this is third zone now again you know depending on your surge you sit on the edge or you go in the middle but you have to keep in mind your surge and your positioning and where you want to rotate next zone and where zone pulls and how can you get the best positioning for where zone might pull in the next time so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you want any other topics covered yeah cheers